welcome back to the Draft House on Tap Top 10. Uh, this is our Top 10 show where we bring you uh, insightful information about games or uh, just shit we want to talk about. Uh, my name is Joel. I'm Hugh. And I'm Roman. And today it's going to be shit we just want to talk about. Uh, so it's going to be uh, IPs uh, that deserve a board game. So uh, do we have any honorable mentions? I have three honorable mentions. All right. Let's do it. All right. So I have one is Clash of the Titans. Uh, it would make a great board game. Now, I didn't put it on my list because there was a Clash of the Titans board game made in 1981. I'm sure it's really shitty. I never played it. Uh, but that is a game that, that feeds itself into a board game property. Uh, one of the other ones I have on Legends of Zelda. There's no Zelda game out there. There are a couple. That's the problem. That's why I, there are a couple, but I mean, we've never. Have you ever played any? No, but there's a Monopoly. There's a chess game. Never heard of a Zelda specific one. And just, then there, yeah, there Monopoly. are, but there are three others. There's like a Japanese one and and a couple others, but it 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 hasn't been done right. And I think I would assume USAopoly owns the rights to that, probably Zelda board game. I would assume so. USAopoly, you gotta you got get on that. I mean, where's my Zelda miniatures and stuff? I mean, that would be great. They put out the Harry Potter one. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, put out the, yeah, yeah, the Harry exactly. Potter yeah. co-op. Let's make a Zelda one. And then my other one is there's a thousand games of this IP, but none of them have ever been done right. Scooby-Doo. I want two mm. copies. I want two games of Scooby-Doo. I want Scooby-Doo Consulting Detective. So basically, just take <laughs> take, Sherlock. Tr- take the Sherlock Holmes game, reskin it, make it f- like fun and goofy, uh, and then and then put a Scooby Doo skin on it. And then I also want Scooby Doo Betrayal on House uh, uh, Betrayal, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Betrayal with okay. the with the Scooby Gang okay. walking around the Betrayal House. Betrayal on the Mystery Man. <laughs> yeah. I think that would be great. I don't know how that has not already been made. So. But those two games, more of a grown, two grown up, little more grown up version of the Scooby games that are already available. Because there are a ton. I looked at. There's like a page of them on BGG. So I just avoided. I just didn't put it on my list. But those two games should be made. All right, uh, Roman. Honorable mentions. No, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have anything. It was hard enough for me to come up with this list without seeing me like shit. There's a game already. <laughs> shit. There's a game already. Okay. So I just. Right. I got. Uh, I'm gonna do three as well. Okay. Um, I didn't put most of these on my list just because I don't really play them, but I recognize that they're good enough that they should mm-hmm. have something out there. Uh, Castlevania. No, nah, man, that would be a good game. Um, there is a game out there, but it's like a fan-made underground game, unlicensed. Right. Um, so it's not like you can go out to Target and buy a copy. Um, I put two together because they're actually fairly similar. Uh, Team Fortress and Overwatch. I think you can sort of make the same game and just right. pick your skin on that one. Um, and the one that I think would be crazy and awesome, and I would definitely play the board game. I actually owned this and never played it, <laughs> uh, just because some of the stuff for it was awesome. Uh, Disney uh, Infinite, or Infinity, okay, uh, yep. which was, you could put all the characters together from basically right. all their licenses, right. go through levels, I don't okay. know if you really fought bad guys in that or not, but in my board game version, we're going like, to fight bad guys. It's like a Kingdom Hearts board game? Yeah. 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 Similar to Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Uh, which, uh, I didn't even check. I did play those. I played all of those. <laughs> yeah. Still um, waiting for number three. But yeah. Disney. Disney. Uh, I can't remember if it's Infinite or Infinity. Yeah. I think it's Infinite. All right. So my number ten... I kind of tried to go outside the box because I don't really want to try to cross over with you guys. So my number 10 is a board game in the Cloverfield universe. So okay. I want to have the kaijus, but I also want to be able to do the the, the weird like Cloverfield uh, where the guy just has the girl kidnapped underneath. Should be some sort of a wide range of like adventures you could go on in the game. Right. Uh, and so, there, but... You could basically go anywhere you wanted to in the world. So, like, maybe almost like a Descent type game or something like that. Very D and D style. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just based in the world All right. type thing. Cool. 
Uh, my number 10, I'm taking it back to the 40s. The 40s. I'm, Shit. I'm going uh, The Crimson Ghost. Ooh. Kind of, uh, okay. you know, detective mm-hmm. game. Uh, chasing the Crimson Ghost around, no, trying to noir, noir, yeah, yeah very okay. noir. Um, maybe throw an Eldritch Horror el- element into it, because mm-hmm. um, you might have some creative license there. But yeah, I think that skin, that right. IP, would be pretty good for a game. All right, all right. Um, my number ten is probably going to be the one you least expected to show up here. Page Master. Oh <laughs> man. Page Master. All right. All right. Yeah. That is an IP that does not have a lot of stuff for it. You got your characters, <laughs> which are mostly books. Uh, you got all your different mm-hmm. adventures, which are all set in books. Of course, those have their own IP, so that'd be hard, hard, kind of hard to do. So I'm assuming what you would do is make up your own version of classic books that you play through to, you know, beat the big bad at the end. Okay. So you can have whatever kind of setting you want. You could do retro space adventure and then pirate adventure. You'll fight dragons. Whatever you want to do. Pretty open. Plus, Macaulay Culkin probably available to do some sort of app (laughs) for the game. (laughs) Yeah. My number nine, Vertigo. Hitchcock's Vertigo. Wow. All right. Uh, keeping, keeping. How old, old are you right now? <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep, I'm, I'm going to be slowly going backwards, <laughs> forwards, oh, time. Going forward. I mean, potentially. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it would be a good uh, kind of. What's the name of the game? Uh, well, it's the name Vertigo. I'm expecting it to be a dexterity game of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> possibly, possibly, or uh, mm. kind of like a murder mystery dinner theater style okay. of Mystery theater. Express. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Except for just some awesome Hitchcock game that would be fun. Okay. All right. All right. What's your number nine? Number nine. Number nine. Prince Persia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I looked. Couldn't find any <laughs> anything about board games Are we for this Prince so of far. Persia Video game, Prince of Persia, Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to go video game on that. <laughs> that's, one. that's a video game one right there. Um, my mm. idea is, uh, I was very similar to Clank. Actually, right. uh, you got various maps where you're either basically going up or down. Right. Um, so it's more about verticality, right? And then you have spaces where. You, of course, flip stuff up. There could be enemies there. There could be traps there. Mm. Uh, and so you've got to navigate your way to the top and or bottom hmm. of the area, claim the loot that you need for that particular one, and get out. There's nothing I like better than Prince of Persia jumping levels. <laughs> Those were my fave. Those were my fave. <laughs> All right, so number nine. So number nine, I went role-playing game. Uh, number nine, I want a role-playing game set in the Magician's Universe. I was wondering when this was going to come <laughs> okay. up. I love the show Magicians. It is super messed up, and I would love a role-playing game based in that universe. All right. I did not even think about putting that on my list. Yeah, I, I really I, should have I did, to. but then I thought I had <laughs> saw something when I was in Think Geek the other day, and yeah. I'm like, ah, yeah. There's nothing. USA Channel or Sci-Fi, Sci-Fi Channel, you should get on that. It's magicians, the role-playing game. Number eight. Number eight is going to be a crossover with you at some point. <laughs> Maybe. Number eight is Die Hard. Mm. Ah, that could be on my list. Okay. Nakatomi Tower. You start at the top. Mm. Your easiest bad guys. You got to descend the levels, mm. which of course increase in difficulty, till you get to the ultimate showdown with one Hans Gruber. I love me okay. some Hans Gruber. Okay. Die Hard. Why is there no Die Hard game? How do I not have an Alan Rickman mini game <laughs> yeah. in a game? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that. Bonus if the you actually have the tower. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like your character moves down the levels. Love it. Actually, want love it. Push him off. Love it. Would buy it right now. Somebody get that on Kickstarter. Okay. <laughs> you should make money off of that, right? I mean, yes, if you want to have a Kickstarter, but we should have that. So what number are we on now? Eight. Eight. Number eight. Oh, I'm doing number eight? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, my number eight is a bluffing game. Uh, I figured I'd put one bluffing game in my thing, so I looked through movies <laughs> to see what I could do for a bluffing game. Usual suspects. Who is Kaiser Sose? So, <laughs> okay, okay. It's a great I, IP for a bluffing game. I, I got you. I got <laughs> you. I feel a little weird about the idea of that game now because it's like... Mm -hmm. Find the pedo. Yeah, but... find the pedo. <laughs> Directed by the pedo. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Usual suspects. Who is Kaiser Sose? That would be a that would be a great bluffing game. I, I like it in theory. I don't like it in principle. <laughs> <Yeah>. But <laughs> right. <laughs> what are we on? Number eight. Number eight. Mm. I had two. But I think I'm going to go with... Uh, Moving all the way up to 1952. <laughs> no, I'm going to go with uh, mm. seven. No, yeah. Well, that's, yeah. A, that's a big jump there. Yeah. yeah. Also with Kevin Spacey in it. Jesus, yeah. guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, very dark. Some of yeah. us have some principles. <laughs> <laughs> no, but every time you brought the What's in the box? Every time you brought the game to the table, you could yell, what's in the box? Yeah, exactly. What's in the box? That'd be great. So sad. I would buy that game just to do that joke. Yeah, okay. exactly. Goddamn, guys. <laughs> <laughs>
Hell yeah. <laughs> what game isn't enhanced by dead rabbits? By dead yeah. rabbits. <laughs> All right, number six. Number six is a twofer okay. uh, because there's two properties that actually fit really well. Okay. Um, so my first thought was actually it's based on a uh, phone app. Uh, it's called Nonstop. In it, you fight through levels and you keep fighting as like as far as you can until you die and you can't go any further. And then you hit the reset button, and then you use all of the XP you got to uh, buy bonuses so that you restart the game. But now you're stronger, you can go further in, and you keep okay. going until you hit bosses. Um, another good skin that would actually fit over that perfectly is uh, Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah. Slash, okay. yeah. Live, die, repeat. Okay. Slash, yeah. all you need is kill. Whatever you want to call. Slash, right. Groundhog Day. <laughs> slash, yeah. Happy Death Day. Slash, <laughs> right. So you kill some, you kill some bad guys, and you keep going until I mean the game's designed to where it definitely kills you at some point. If it's a short amount of cards, it could be like Love Letter 2.0. Just reskin that with whatever. That's true. Could, <laughs> Groundhog Day it. You could do that. Mine, you're going until you hit bosses, and of course, if you don't win on the bosses, that's where you lose or win the game, okay. but during just the regular fights, and the bosses can show up anywhere, but just during the regular fights, you can die, and then that allows you to go back and build your character up. All right. So I'm number six. Okay, so I want universe here, uh, but... I started with uh, Stephen King's It, but in a, uh, you know, uh, Descent or Eldritch Horror or, you know, mm. Arkham Horror L LC uh, takes place all in uh, what dreary, uh, dairy, uh, Maine or wherever all the stories <laughs> take place. I can't remember. Uh, the hell yeah, so, but you could basically, because all of his stories are interlocked in that, like, tied to that city. Uh, you could do like, but you start out with it, so you have the killer clown and all the little kids, right. and you play the kids trying to get rid of the clown out of the town. But and then you could just keep going with more modules <laughs> based on his other book, Shining, whatever. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I wrote down here. This this is my description. Contra. No, I love Contra. Contra. Contra's good. Uh, balls hard co op monster killing fuckery. Mm. That's it. I just want an insanely right. difficult, probably two player for this one. Mm. Just right. keep it, just keep it, it in the vein. Make it a little harder than uh, than the old game because I could beat that old game on one person. Wow! There's <laughs> no cheat codes in this one. <laughs> I didn't use a cheat code for that. <laughs> Memorize. Um, just played it a lot. But yeah, Contra, mm. crazy cool weapons, crazy ass monsters. Yeah. Stupid hard. Yeah. Love Contra. All right, so my number five, I went with my favorite comic book property. So I went with Planetary. I don't exactly know what kind of game you can make out of that story, but I love that comic book. I love the characters, Elijah Snow, Drummer, all those guys. I think that would make a great IP for any sort of game. You're going to have to explain some of the characters here because I... I know what Planetary is. I actually read it, I think, a million years ago, but I don't remember. I mean, it's just that. like a covert ops group come and they pick up this old guy in the desert. And it kind of like feels like maybe he's been around for a long, 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 long time. And it kind of works in kind of like Crimson. Crimson Ghost. Crimson Ghost works in all the, the old noir kind of characters like Doc Samson, but they renamed them all. Okay. Uh, so everything's kind of been switched up a little bit to kind of play in that world sandbox right, kind of I thing. Remember. I remember. Uh, but man, I love that story. And a, a matter of fact, how that has not been made into a movie yet, I don't know. Somebody has the rights to that thing because how? Um, what's a uh, uh, taken guy? Uh, Liam, Neeson. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson should be Elijah Snow. I don't know how that movie has not been made yet. Uh, but I Liam, want, if you're watching, <laughs> yeah, if you're got watching a movie for me, <laughs> yeah. You better contact somebody. At, Taken guy, at, starring as. <laughs> you see, uh, call it DC and Wildstorm and tell them that you want to acquire the rights. Uh, but, yeah, any sort of IP with Planetary. All right. So my number five, I, I watch a lot of weird movies when I'm bored. Uh, so my number five is Devil's Carnival. Hmm. 
I, I don't. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen the movie, but I remember I remember bits and pieces of it. And I'm thinking this is just crazy enough to be yeah to be a decent decent game, not a great game, but a decent yeah. game. Well, they made a movie. There's a game out there called Carnival Zombie. Could be a little bit like that. Could be. I I got nothing. I don't know. <laughs> He's reaching know way back. Yeah, yeah. You're going you're going you're going weird on me. Yeah. <laughs> So that was number five for you? That was my number five. Okay, so I tried to put different types of games on my list. So number four is my sports game. And I went with Whip It. <laughs> I, went, I, went, I went a roller derby, uh, with, you know, Flam Rouge style okay. game. With punching? With punching and roller derby. Uh, I, I don't... I couldn't find one. I'm sure there's got to be one out there that there's a board game with roller derby. But, you know, IP it with Whip It. You know, put the under tag on it. Be your own hero. Uh, be great. Love love that movie. Fist Rouge. <laughs> so, to, to keep going with my weirdness and same director, <laughs> I'm going with Repo, the genetic, the genetic rock, rock opera. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, harvesting organs. <laughs> yeah. Harvesting organs is yeah. It, so you're the you're the, you're the bad guys in it. You're running around. Har- whoever harvests the most organs wins. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is like this is like the trash man the game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could have gone with like reskinning operation and just being like, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know why little, you just can't do both. There's a little price you, you tags can. on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where are we at? Number four? Mm -hmm. Number four? All right, gotcha. Um, I assume this is a game only I have played in this room. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics? Not played. Okay. The old one for PlayStation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yeah, That was a fun game. So it was uh, turn-based. JRPG, uh, obviously, Roots. Mm, Um, It was turn-based, hexic uh, board setup. Um, but the important thing was, like, you built your squad, but your squad had, like, just an insane amount of customization. Yeah. Like, there was, like, 15 different classes that your characters could be, and then there was subclasses to each one of those, and then you could still modify them within each of those have they again. Never, have they never remade that game? Uh, I think they put it Man, out. Man, that should be on my phone. I mean, that's turn-based. Yeah. I should be able to play that on my phone. I'm pretty sure there's a version of it that came out on the uh, the... DS or 3DS, yeah. but uh, not for a board game. Hmm. Um, so yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics. So uh, being Draft House Games, we need a drinking game. Oh my god, Cocktail the Board Game. <laughs> Damn it, I did not think about that, but no. Is it dexterity? Do we have to juggle glass bottles? <laughs> no, no, no. Seems a little dangerous. <laughs> I went with The World's End. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. so, okay. you know. You have to travel from, keep going down yeah, the pub. Meet and bosses then, and take shots. <laughs> yeah, meet bosses and take shots. Yeah. That's I, how I play video games. Yeah. <laughs> I would love that game. I would play that game right now. Yeah. We're going to do all three of the trilogy. We're going to get Shaun of the Dead. I thought about it. I thought about Shaun it going, you know, three, two, one, right down <laughs> the lines, ending with Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> this is we my, gotta Paul in there this is my last one that I think is a potential crossover. Okay. And uh, that would be just with you. <laughs> uh, number three, last action hero. It was on my short list. <laughs> I, did not, I did not put it on my list. It was on my short list. I um, that movie. I found a thing that was like last action hero, the 3D board game. Right. It came out in, right, or when, supposedly came out in like 1992. Right. I couldn't find a single review of it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find any information on it, really. Board Game Geek had the basic info, but clearly nobody has played this thing ever, according to them. If anybody can find a copy, you get it to us. We will play Last Action Hero, the board game live. <laughs> because that sounds fantastic. There you go. <laughs> um, but I figure you got the uh, a two phase game, right? Where you start out and you're basically invincible, right? So you get all the loot and stuff you need, right. and then you transfer into the real world. So you're prepared for it, but then of course there's a chance you can die. Right. A la Last Action Heroes premise. <laughs> Rubber baby baby bubbles. You didn't know I was going to say that, <laughs> did you? <laughs> now that was a good movie. Love that movie. All right. So my number three. 
Uh, I cannot believe that there is not a board game for this game yet. I don't know who even owns the IP for it. I would assume it's Warner Brothers. But Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I thought Candy about the board game. And I didn't even bother looking it up because I'm like, there has to be a yeah. game. There is a picture of a game on BGG. There's no reviews. I could not find anything about it. Uh, there's just, Like I said, there's just a picture of the front of the box and the back of the box. And it looked like it was made a million years ago. You could do area control with Willy Wonka. You could just do a game where you're trying to get the, trying to get survive the golden the chocolate factory. Survive the chocolate okay. factory. Trying to just get a golden Making ticket to get or... to get into the chocolate factory. It could be a game about getting getting the golden ticket to even get into the chocolate factory. Okay. It could be a series of games. It could be like exit games, whatever. Oh, I'm, I'm playing a rich girl. Yes, <laughs> thousand <laughs> factory Veruca workers. Salt. Yeah, Veruca dibs on Veruca. Yeah. Uh, but how has that not been a board game? I, I mean, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate be, Factory. I'm glad somebody at least looked because yeah. I thought about it and I was like, I'm not even going to type it in to the search <laughs> engine. There's a game of this somewhere. There should be lots of them. <laughs> uh, you can, there's there's a ton. Why isn't there like an Oompa Loompa card game or something? I mean, <laughs> come on. Saving them from the horn swagglers. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, so that's my number three, All Willy right. Wonka. All right. Uh, number two. Love this series of games. Uh, caught on to it late. My brother brought me to it. Glad he did. Super awesome. Borderlands. Yeah. Borderlands does not have a board game, card game, anything mm. that I could find. Um I if do, you, I do believe they put out a specialty deck of playing cards. They, they might I think have. That's but, it. Yeah. Um, the closest you're gonna get, obviously, if you played it, is uh, we have it right up here somewhere. Wasteland, 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 Wasteland Express delivery service. Yeah. Um, take out the delivery part, amp up the killing part. Right. Give me crazy guns and right. crazy bosses. Similar to Contra. That's a, I'll yeah. say it. I like that shit. <laughs> Borderlands. Want it. All right. So um, my next one is the one everybody knew was going to be on my list. Nobody will remember it or know anything about it, but I talk about it a lot because it's one of my favorite movies. Ladies and gentlemen, Streets of Fire. I want some Tom Cody. I want some Raven, which is Willem Dafoe in gutfish pants. Uh 1950s rockers <laughs> fighting with old west guns. Uh, you know, it's a I want a Diane Lane miniatures. You know the rock rock band. Uh, yeah, uh, Bill Paxton was in that movie. Amy Madigan. Uh, the, I mean, everybody was in that movie. Rick Moranis. We knew it was going to be here. I, I came up with the idea for this list, and the first thing I said was. You, nobody's going to know what Streets of Fire is. Streets of Fire. <laughs> Plus, if you've not seen Streets of Fire, go find Streets of Fire and watch it. Man, what a good movie. Okay. Right. Number two. Number two. I went with the racing game. Oh, yeah. it, it did have a game for it, but it's old enough that you could retool it. I went with Wacky Races. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was going through the movie list in my hand. Flam like, Rouge, or, but you like you know, build your car, or something? build your car, build your car, great. You know, get your one of your famous. We actually characters. thought about doing this game. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We came up with a, a bit of a design for it. Obviously, yeah. not called Wacky Razors because we don't own IDs. But right. <laughs> but yeah, the old Hanna Barbera oh, yeah. characters. And love stuff. it. Yeah, I love it. That would be a great miniatures game. Would be. I was going through the list of movies <laughs> that were like, and I'm like. He's gonna Easy. make Days of Thunder, <laughs> <laughs> the board game. Days of Thunder, the board game. No, no, no. Talladega Nights. There you go. <laughs> My number one. It is a crossover. Of course it is. Because it's, it's Die Hard. Die hard. <laughs> <laughs> I went with the greatest Christmas movie of all time. And yes, it is a Christmas movie. Anybody yep. else says different? I also want Rewind. Nakatomi Tower in the middle of my my table. But I went a little different. I want it to be one versus all. So one person plays Bruce Willis, and everybody else plays Terrace in Nakatomi Tower. This is going to be a little white chapel <laughs> like, Little white chapel right. So you're trying to hunt him down. Trying to hunt him down. I mean, you could have the one be the cop. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the outside, helping but him just a little bit. I just want one versus all. Everybody's hunting. It's a reversal of Whitechapel. So instead of trying to find the kill, you're trying to find the good guy. So, okay. Die Hard, the board game. And again, how has that not been put on Kickstarter yet? <laughs> yeah. I went with a recent movie as my number one Ooh. that we should have made into a movie. I this Dave with, makes a maze. Dave made a maze. Damn it. Dave made a maze as <laughs> my number one. Because I was like, I wanted to put Labyrinth, but then I'm like, well, it's already a game. So. Already has a board game, yeah. Dave made a maze. For the audience, you may want to elaborate on uh, Dave made a maze a little bit there. Yeah. All right. So Dave made a maze is this guy is, you know, in his house over the weekend, and he makes a cardboard maze <laughs> and then proceeds to get lost in it. Well, it looks like you made a fort. Just a fort. Yeah, it looks like you just made, made a, a fort. Just made a little fort. But it's real it's in the, depth. It's the TARDIS of mazes. It is the yes, TARDIS. There's a mazes, huge yeah. labyrinth on the inside of All the, made out of cardboard. Including an evil minotaur. You, yes. But <laughs> just <clears throat> popped into my head. What if you are Dave making the maze? Making the maze? So. Building the maze. All right. Yeah, yeah that's another another angle. angle. Yeah, <laughs> he gets bored. I I love that movie. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm I'm good with it. Yeah. I'm good with it. Uh. That's that's good. Q. I'm sure whatever you have is also good, but it's wrong. I had Die Hard, man. Die no, that's right. Wrong. Sorry, no, it is. Die Hard is never. Wrong. Die Hard is, is wrong. never. Die Hard is never wrong. Die Hard right. was a solid number eight. <laughs> I'd even give it a solid uh, number two. Is fine, but it doesn't beat the fact. <laughs> There's never been a Matrix board game. Yeah. That'd be complex as hell. The thing is, the first thing I was like, <laughs> "What? Okay, what would this board game be?" And then I realized there's about eight hundred different board games it could be. To start it off right. That wasn't even ever even a card game. I think it was a Monopoly. I'm sure it was. Might have a Monopoly. I think it, was, it was a Monopoly, but uh, yeah. out, outside of that, nope, nothing. Mm. Um, I think the easiest way to introduce it to reintroduce people to the Matrix has been a while. Mm. LCG, right? Where the different decks are basically fighting styles, right? Right. So you, you customize it, you mix and match. So you're programming yourself in. And then uh, it all takes place. The first game all takes place in uh, <coughs> in the in the white room, the loading room, right? So it's like a training simulation to get you ready for the Matrix. And then after you're ready, fuck it, you go anywhere with that thing. All right. Trust me, I thought of multiple Keanu movies. I almost, <laughs> yeah. I almost put John Wick on my list. Point Break. And I almost, <laughs> and I almost put Speed on Speed on my list. Mm, trying to okay. keep the bus above fifty five. Right. Cool. I didn't think about John Wick. I'll, yeah. I'll play it, of course. I'll play yeah. that, too. John Wick, the board game would be good. All right, well, that has been the Draft House on <laughs> Tap Top 10. <laughs> you said it! Yeah, all in one go. Yeah. Uh, join us next time when we go over other random shit for our Top 10s. Or maybe real insightful stuff. Right, right. or Pro real Probably, probably not. <laughs> all right, catch us next time. <laughs>